Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would share with you a few of my favorite things, some things that I have been really enjoying um, this week or some good deals that I have found that I would like to share with you. I have um, some makeup and some clothing today and also a YouTube channel that I want to talk about. So let's talk about the YouTube channel first. Um, and the channel is, is called Absolute Oddity and I will have it linked down in the description box. But anyway, basically what it is, is this man, and I don't know, I should have more information for you, but um, basically he does little clips or little stories of just things that have happened in the past that are kind of odd. Um, for example, there was one that he did about these two brothers that um, I forgot where they lived, but it was back during the probably 20s or 30s, and they were hoarders and had themselves completely buried into their home, and um, just kind of talks about the process on how they became hoarders, what happened while they were hoarders, and what happened afterwards. And um, most of them, of his little clips, are like 15, 20 minutes long, and um, a lot of them, he puts up little narratives where you read it, you have to read it. But he has gone back and has started narrating them himself, which he has a wonderful narrating voice. So he's very pleasant to listen to. But a lot of his stories that he has on there are just so interesting, things that you may have never heard of, but he has, um, when possible, he'll put up pictures of what he's found that correlates with the story. But anyway, I just really enjoy watching his, his story. So if that's something that you find interesting um, and you like things that are based on fact and not just fiction, I think you would really enjoy um, watching his, his channel. So that's absolute oddity. And then I have some clothing items that I wanna talk about. Um, the first two things I did find at Walmart and um, these are in the junior department and I got a size extra large but it's just a little um, tank a tank top and I got it in this cranberry color but the reason why I want to talk about it they're like three dollars and 88 cents so first of all they're super super affordable um, they are 92 percent polyester and eight percent eight percent spandex but these are the softest most comfortable tank tops that I think you will ever ever find and unless you're going to go to a high-end store and spend a lot of money they're not thin they've got really good substance to them and they just look really really cute layered underneath um, different things um, I only have two I went back to get more but they were sold out of the size I need, but the other one that I got, which I thought was so cute, especially for fall, get ready to come up, is this camouflage one. I wore it the other day with a, a cream colored burnout um, blouse over the top that was kind of cropped, and then this um, peeked out from underneath it, and it's just really, really cute. And then where it was burnt out, you could see this underneath it, so it was really cute. I liked it a lot, so I do recommend these. Um, don't be afraid because they're in the juniors department. Um, I normally wear a size large in ladies, so I just got the extra large and for a, a layering piece, I think they're perfect. I want to get, they had one color that was like this um, olive green. I want to get that color if I can find it in my size. The next clothing item that I have is something that I ordered from Macy's. They had these on sale. They were normally... $40, $39.50, and they had them marked down to $9.99. So I ordered them off of Macy's, and they're by the brand Laura Scott, and I got them in a size 12, and it is a pair of squirts. Um, so if you're not familiar woo, with what squirts are, um, it's a skirt. It's a skirt, but it has shorts underneath. So you can see the shorts there. And the material on this is 98% cotton and 2% spandex. I like them because they have a little bit of a give in the waist here. 
that they're not a pull-on. Um, they do have a the two buttons in the front and a zipper closure. So it's not a pull-on. You actually do have to pull it on and then hook. But then there's some um, little back pockets here. And in the front, is there pockets in the front? Yes, there's a little pocket in the front that has this really cute little button detail right there. But I just thought, I don't wear shorts and I usually wear like um, crop jeans, boyfriend jeans during the summer, but it's just been so hot and we've been doing a lot of work at our store remodeling. And I just wanted something that was cool and comfortable to wear while we were working there. And I went to Walmart and purchased a few skorts that they had there. And that kind of led me to want to get more. So I was researching online and that's when I came across the ones from Macy's. I got all different colors. I got some beige colored ones and uh, blue. They also had a different style that was the same, the same brand but it has a little um, woven belt around it for detail. And it doesn't have the stretch waist. And I did get these in a size 12 also. And they are also 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So very comfortable. Um, you can definitely wear them with just a little tank top and some flip flops and be nice and cool. Um, you could put a nice blouse with them and then maybe a little bit of a dressier sandal and make it look nice to go out for dinner. Really comfortable, they're not short, um, so definitely have some length to them so that you don't feel like you know everything's hanging out. I like these from the Laura Scott because the shorts under them are a little bit longer than the ones I got from Walmart, so I feel like I have a little bit more coverage. And I have just been enjoying wearing those immensely. Okay, then the two uh, makeup products I want to talk about are both from Kat Von D. And first I want to talk about the lipstick. Now this was a limited edition lipstick that she came out with sometime last year. And it was called the Project Chimps um, lipstick, a release. And per, a portion of the proceeds from the sale of this lipstick was going to go help with um, help saving the chimps and help with with that um, anyway she's coming back out with it again it's going to be on her website the 17th of july so hopefully by the time that you are seeing this video she still has some available um, i just like when there's something to do with helping save animals i like to help as much as i can um, to me they they market this as a red lipstick i have it on but to me it's more of a brick red or a burnt orange color it's not a bright red um, i think it's a color that a lot of people are going to be able to wear and be very comfortable with wearing it there's a, a close-up of it right there so if you are inclined to purchase a new liquid lipstick and you want to do something that is beneficial then I would suggest um, picking that one up. And then the next thing I've been liking is this little um, eyeshadow. Oh, I don't know what this is. Uh, quad. There's four in here um, that she had. And this is in the color Smoke. I found this on clearance at Sephora a while back. And the two colors that I have been absolutely wearing over and over and over, this just makes a really simple eye look. It's this color here all over the lid and then this color here just in the crease and then with some black eyeliner and mascara and you're good to go is what I have created this look here on my eyes and I have just worn it over and over and over again. Um, it's definitely an eye look that you can um, put on and wear with a red lip. It looks very, very classic and just very chic I feel with just a very simple eye like this with a, a really pretty red lip and some Chanel perfume, a Chanel lip and some Chanel blush and you just feel like a million bucks. Anyway, so that is it. That is my select picks for this week. I hope that you enjoy and I will talk to you soon.